but what exactly must England worry about most on Sunday afternoon? Because there are some key areas that we need to discuss. Danny, I want to start with the midfield. Declan Rice and Calvin Phillips going up against Verratti, Jorginho and Barella of Italy who have been absolutely sensational. For me, probably their best game was the one where they barely touched it against Spain because to be played around the park the way that the Spanish midfielders did to them and to still be able to keep them to one goal just show the work rate, the tenacity, the desire and it's going to be a, a difficult task for England. Verratti's a very good player. Uh, they obviously came into the tournament with, a, with an injury doubt. But I think, you know, he, he's starting to show again, you know, an Italian manager knows what he's doing, brought in an injured player for the latter stages of a competition. You know, no one sort of complained about that when Mangini did it. And we sort of, you know, questioned Jordan Henderson, you know, being in the squad. Jorginho, I think, is is underrated. I think the way that he makes things happen, the way that he just keeps things ticking over, uh, he's very, very good on the ball, rarely gives it away. He's always available, you know, even under pressure um, is in there. Uh, and Barella's also done very, very well. Generally, the, the consensus is that if you win the midfield battle, you have a much greater chance of winning the football match. Mm. Uh, and I think it's going to be really key in that area. But I like the balance of our midfield. I, I really do. Rice is the out and out sitter. You know, he, he's the holding player. Phillips, and we, and we, we talked about this year at the, at the start of the, when we we're going through sort of formations, weren't we? And I, and I said, Philip, I can see Phillips playing sort of slightly to the right of that, five yards further forward than Rice. And I can see Mount playing to the left of that, 10, 15 yards further forward. And you've got this lopsided triangle um, in there. And I think they'll do exactly the same thing again. Uh, I think Mount's a very, very intelligent footballer. Um, very, very impressed with, with him, you know, through the last sort of season or so. Any position, his ability to read the game and be in the right place at the right time is exceptional. I think Rice has developed that as well. Dan, I, I, there's two things I think about the Italian midfield. One is that Giorgio Gino isn't really the same player without Canti alongside him. I think his, his passing range, as you say, is fantastic, but I think it's more effective when he's got somebody like a Canti doing all of that hard work, that graft that he does in midfield. Verratti is a fascinating one too, because I, I do agree he's a good player. But when's the last time he had a good game in a big game, a really big game? He tends to go missing at club level. Um, but it, I, I, saying, I think if, there'll be lots of people who who who, who might disagree with me, but I, I wanted to ask you: If, if you, do you if think you match, he does if you match turn up, play, if you match him up player for player, you got Rice and Jorginho don't need as much between them. You know, obviously Jorginho's a lot more experienced. You know, I think I think Declan Rice has been fantastic the way that he just sits in front. Jorginho's maybe got a better range of passing, maybe, but but he doesn't I mean, go, <laughs> but he doesn't go forward. He doesn't play forward passes. He's, he, the, he he's there as, to sit, but he acts as a pivot. I mean, he's yeah, not, I, he's, I not, he's not exactly there to be a physical no, presence, is he? I, no, he acts but, as a but, pivot, but then, and he's superb. So then I'm looking at Phillips versus Verratti. They're both very very mobile. They're both good on the ball. Phillips is good on the ball. Takes all the set pieces for Leeds. Don't forget, that's a big responsibility. Means you've got, you know, you've got to have good ability to be able to do that in the Premier League. Take those free kicks and those corners and have that reliability. And then you go Mason Mount up against Barella. Well, I think Mount's better than him. I, I like Barella, but I still think Mount's better than you know. So I think we, it's quite balanced in there. But I think we, we if we, if our three play well, we dominate that midfield battle. That that's that's and and I think that's where the game. <laughs> Is one. There's, just, one, there's one other position. And just to clarify, I'm not saying that Verratti's a bad player and I'm not saying I don't rate him. He's a very, very, very good player. But there seems to be a body of opinion about Verratti that it, it, does he does he always turn up in big we're, games? We're talking fine margins, aren't we? That's, that's what we're yeah. talking about. If it's such a fine margin between the two midfields then, Danny, is it going to boil down to the way that Roberto Mancini and Gareth Southgate deploy them, use their substitutes in this final? It could well come down to that. I think a big area uh, for England to exploit is the left-back area. I think Emerson is a weakness in that area. Com comparing to, to Spinazzola, who, who sadly obviously has, has done his Achilles. Um, you know, sad for him. And obviously we've, we've seen the tributes to him from the Italian team. He was fantastic. You know, and, and he attacked a lot more and also was good defensively. I think you can get at Emerson. I don't think he's he's the sharpest uh, because obviously he hasn't played that much football. And, and I think if, if there is a weak line in that back four now, that'll be the place to, to try and exploit it. And, and that's why when we talk about teams, I think he, there's a chance that Jaden Sancho might come in to the team on that side. And it might be going, 
Go and make Emerson go the other way. Make him defend. Let's see how good he is. Because Spinazzola was going to bomb forward all day long. We saw that. So I think you've got to play somebody with a defensive mindset that's going to want to track those runs and get back. That's not Jaden Sancho. You know, I think he's working on that side of his game, but he's much better at picking the ball up, dribbling at people, running at people. And I think with Emerson at left back, maybe that could be a change that Sancho plays on the right-hand side in- instead of Saka. Not that Saka's done anything wrong, it's just a slight tweak. Dan, you played left back. What should Emerson be doing that he doesn't do? I just, it, it's, he's not as good as Spinazzoli. He's not as comfortable. Um, I just, sometimes you're just not as good as the, the player that you come in to replace. You know, simple as that. I think you know, he, he's, he's left footed, which you, shouldn't you, be an issue. He went to the game against Spain, and Spain right. were all over Italy, but Emerson managed to hold his own. Well, yes and no. I mean, Emerson made a lot of ramp, he did a lot of forays forward, leaving space in behind him for the Spanish to exploit, and they did. And I, I I agree. You know, I do a lot of disagreeing. That, as you know, <laughs> but do you know what I mean? I agree it's, it's with you. A bit, it's a bit like when you. we say, you know, Trent is a fantastic fullback. Trent is, know, is outstanding, but he has a weakness sometimes. He's too far forward that he leaves space in behind, mm. and you cannot afford to do that at the highest level because this game will be. There'll probably be in the whole. Let's say it's two, two one. You're talking three moments in the yeah. whole game. Only two moments yeah. for your team that you need to create something. Well, what have you said about Harry Kane? So you can keep him quiet for 70 minutes. He gets one chance, scores, that's the game done. Mm-hmm. And that, that sometimes is, you leave that space in behind, as Emerson is prone to do. You get a Sterling or a Saka who runs in behind, centres the ball like Saka did against the Danes last night, and suddenly that's the game over. Ball in the net, and you get you basically make yourselves hard to beat after that. And... You manage the game out, and we are very good at managing the game, as we've seen in this tournament. 